uh, basically I was training for the Boston Marathon about three years ago or so, and uh, I was a particularly bad winner, and I was stuck inside trying to do a long run of 20 miles on the treadmill, and I was losing my mind. Doing a long run's hard enough, having to do it on a treadmill is death. <laughs> In any event, I came up with the idea, because the course was right down the street from me, why don't I try to film it, and then I can view it while I'm running on the treadmill. So I went out there, and I opened the sunroof, stuck my head out, and hit record, and it came out terrible. But I knew I was on to something, so I kept with it. And I figured it out through trial and error, iteration after iteration. Was finally able to get a nice, steady, smooth picture of the course. And subsequently, we filmed another number of other courses. But then I got to thinking, well, wouldn't it be cool if the video would actually interactively adjust to my pace versus me having to keep up with the video? So developing software and apps and utilizing Ant Wireless technology, we came out with our Virtual Runner product, which does that, solves the problem. Virtual Runner will allow any treadmill runner using their tablet, iPad, or laptop to be able to pick up and uh, famous race courses, popular running routes, scenic locations from all over the world, and they can actually run to those interactively. So they can train for a race before actually running the race. We're actually filming a lot of races now that are um, on shot on race day, which is pretty neat. Let me see here. This particular one was shot up in Maine, and as you can see, the people really, really got into it, and we had people who were handing us water as we ran along, and we even got to break the tape, which was pretty neat. And um, the people at the water stops were cheering us on, and it's really, really cool because you've got all the crowds on the side of the road that know that they're going to be on video, and they try to do anything they can to ham it up, similar to the Tour de France, where you have the people waving their country flags and things of that nature. Well, that was similar to what we had. A lot of fun. We also have an on-screen dashboard, which I can show you here, that will actually show you using Ant technology again. You can see your, the runner's pace, their heart rate, the time, the distance they've gone, their cadence. And then we also added a new feature called PR Pace that actually lets you race against yourself for the fastest time you've run on that particular video. And next thing you know, you're an hour into the run and you know, you, you, the time just flies by. We also have the ability to let users create their own videos. We're currently working on some stabilization software whereby the user can create their own video with a, a Garmin Verb or a GoPro or what have contour, and then they can run it through our image stabilization and then they can actually utilize it to train to. Um, we have GPS data included. You can actually also start anywhere on a course by mile or kilometer or save your spot. We can even record your PRs for a particular, uh, your personal records for each particular video.